Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 1 Lesson 12 homework. So let's get started. Estimate and then solve each problem. Model the problem with a tape diagram. Explain if your answer is reasonable. Alright, so number one, there are 3,905 more hits on the school website in January than February. You can underline porn stuff. February had 9,854 hits. How many hits did the school's website have during both months? And A says, about how many hits did the website have during January and February? All right, so again, like I always say, one of the most important things when doing a math problem is understanding the problem itself. So notice how it says there's 3,905 3, more hits on the school website in January than February. So that doesn't mean that there's 3,905 hits in January, but it means however many hits are in February, which is 9,854, well, there's 3,905 more hits than that. And now it also says about how many more hits. Um, or about how many hits did the website have, like, total during January and February. So about means, like, estimate, and so, so for A, we're going to estimate first, and then B, we're finding the exact number. So let's see. Well, 3,905 can, can first round to 4,000 rounding to the nearest thousand and then nine thousand eight hundred fifty four if we're rounding to the nearest thousand it can round to ten thousand so let's make our tape diagram um all right so for our tape diagram we can actually use a real number but then we can just know that we round a bit so when we add the rounded numbers, um, we know round it. So let's first create it for February. Um, we know February has 9,854 hits. And then January has at least that amount, 9,854. But we know that it has 3,905 more hits. And what we're trying to find is this, which is a total of both months. So now let's add up the numbers. So if we round this number, we get 10,000. So 10,000 plus 10,000, and then plus this a little number, which we round to 4,000 because that's how many more hits it has. So then plus 4,000. So that gives us zero, 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 four and two so now would give us twenty four thousand so it has about twenty four thousand hits i can like box that all right and b exactly how many hits did the website have during january and february so now we're finding the real number the exact number. So we already have our tape diagram up here, so we can just add up our numbers. 9,854 plus 9,854, and then, and then plus 3,905. And also the numbers, so 9,854 is coming from February, and the other 9,854 is coming from January because we know January has at least that much. And we're getting this number because we know January has this much more. So that's where we're getting them. So 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 5 is 13. So don't forget to carry the 10. 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 0 is still 10 but plus 1 would be 11. And 8 plus 8 is 16, plus um, 9 is 25, plus 1 is 26. So we can carry 2 times 26. 
And 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 3 is 21, plus 2 is 23. So our answer will be 23,613. So we can answer the question by saying the website had 23,613 hits during January and February. So that's our answer. And C is asking, is our answer reasonable? So compare the estimate from A to um, our answer from B and write a sentence to explain your reasoning. So um, yeah, I think our answer is reasonable because our estimate was 24,000 and the answer we got was pretty close to that. It was about like, um, it was like 387, I think, away. Like, so it was like pretty close. So yeah, I would say it's reasonable, so. Yes, my answer Well, because pretty much it was only around um, let's just say around 300, 387 away from, because we forgot what the estimate. Okay, so guess our answer is reasonable because the estimate, it was only around, we don't need this fit. It was only around 387 um, well, it hits away from the actual answer. So, yeah. All right, next page. Okay. On Sunday, 77,098 fans attended a New York Jets game. The same day, 3,397 more fans attended a New York Giants game than attended the Jets game. Altogether, how many fans attended the games? All right, so what was the actual number of fans who attended the games? So first things first, um, let's try to find out how many attended the Giants game. So our New York, um, the Jets game, I can write like J for Jets, I guess. So we know 77,098 fans attended that. But the same day for the Giants, game g4 giants um there's 3397 more fans that attended that than the jets game so if there's more we know there's at least 77,098 people that attended the giants game but then we know there's just 3397 more so our job is to find out the total how many people attended um, all, both of the games? So who attended the games? So how can we find that out? Well, we can just add using the standard algorithm. And this one we're not estimating because it says, what's the actual number here? So let's do 77,098 plus 77,098 and then plus 3,397. Oh, wait, hold up. 3,000. All right, so 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 7 would be 23. 9 plus 9 plus 9 would be 27, plus 1 is 28. And 0 plus 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5. 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 3 um would be 17 and 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 1 would be 15 so our answer would be 157,583 so that's how many attend the games so um how many people 
attention the games and we can like put a box on all right and b is your answer reasonable rounding number to the nearest thousand to find estimate um of how many fans attend the games so let's estimate so seventy seven thousand ninety eight to the nearest thousand would be seventy seven thousand and then 3,397 to the nearest thousand will be 3,000. So let's add our two numbers. 77,000 plus 77,000 again plus 3,000 equals 0, 0, 0. 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 3 is 17. And then 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. So our answer is 157,000. So that would be our estimate. So that is pretty, pretty close to our actual answer. So yes, I think um, my, my, our answer is reasonable because it's only a bit off and it's pretty close. So yes, my answer is reasonable um because the estimate was it was like only about 500 off So it actually was pretty close. So yeah, our estimate is pretty close to the real answer. So our answer is reasonable. Like it's not like our estimate was like a million or something or like 12 or something. Cause if it was the case, if that was the case, then we would know that something's like definitely wrong. All right, and 12, number three. Last year on Ted's farm, his four cows produced the following number of liters of milk. So there's Daisy, Betsy, Mary, and Buttercup. So A, Betsy produced 986 more liters of milk than Buttercup. How many liters of milk did all four cows produce? All right, so step one is to first find out what the missing blank is here. So we have to find out how many milk did Betsy produce before finding out how many they all produce together. So let's see. Let's draw a type diagram for like all of them. So Daisy, 5,098, D for Daisy. Betsy is what we're trying to figure out. But we know since she's more than Buttercup and Buttercup has 7,087, we know she has at least that much. And also, she's 986 more, liters more, so that's how much. And B for Betsy. Then we have Mary, um, with 9,980 liters, M for Mary. And then we have Buttercup, which is 7,087, B for Buttercup. So we're trying to figure out how many liters they all produce. So let's first find out Betsy. So, um, let's see. Betsy would be this plus this. So we can actually add them all together. So Daisy is 5,098. Um, and then Buttercup or Betsy would, let me write Butter for Buttercup so we don't get them mixed up. And then Betsy is 7,000. 87 plus 986 and then Mary would be 9980 and then Buttercup would be 7087 so we add that all together 8 plus 7 is 15 plus 6 is 21 plus 0 is 21 plus 7 is 28 and 9 plus 8 is 17, plus 8 is 26, wait, no, 25, that's 25, 
25 plus 8 is 33, and then plus 8, again, wait, hold, wait, wait, 17, 25, 33, 41, that'd be 41, and then, wait, bro, I can't do math, 41, we can't forget about the 2, so that'll be 43, yeah, 40, 43, did I say 43, 43, 43. Okay, and then 0 plus 0 is 0. And so 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 4 is 22. So 22. And 5 plus 7 is 12. And then there's nothing here. So then 12 plus 9 is 21, plus 7 is 28, plus 2 is 30. So I just write 30. So our answer we got is 30,000. Um, 3,238. So that'd be our answer. So is our answer reasonable? Um, let's like try rounding it. So 5,098 would round to 5,000. And then Buttercup, we should never find out how she really was. We can like do some quick math here. 13, 16. So this um, so buttercup would be around eight thousand, pretty much. And then, um, let's see, Mary would be around ten thousand. And then buttercup would be around seven thousand. So let's add them all up: zero, 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 five plus eight plus zero plus seven. That'd be twenty. That'd be three. So your answer is 30,000 for our estimate. So yeah, our answer is reasonable because it's pretty close to our actual answer. Um, so yes, it's reasonable because our answer is 200 more than the estimate so it was only about 200 more i say so that's like pretty close it's not like it was like 2000 3000 away so yeah all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel see you next time bye